Yo, what is up guys? For today we're talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the future War Cult weapons that came in the new season of the Worthy World Drop Pool. And for me, in my opinion, I don't really like a lot of these, mostly because of either the archetype or just the weapon itself I don't like. But that's the beautiful thing about these, these type of videos is that these aren't for me. These are more for you. Are you interested in this? Because if you are, then fuck whatever I say, try to get these weapons and use them for yourself because ultimately that's what I'm just trying to do. I'm trying to inform you and then just for people who have the same style as me or just want to hear my opinion, I give what I think about these weapons, my opinion and whatnot. So I say this because there's a lot of things that I'm going to say that aren't good and two of these weapons, I actually don't have the random rolled versions. So I picked out the old versions for my collections and just use that just to like showcase how they are. But yeah, let's get started. So first and foremost, I have True Prophecy as the first one. And this is where, mm, okay, so it's a 110 hand cannon. 110s are not that great in my opinion. I would love them to get buffed somehow. Some slept maybe Cami Cakes did a really good, uh, he said something really cool. He said that like, if 110s are the slowest ones in the, in the archetype, then they should have like the most range or something. I think that's what he said. If I don't remember correctly, I'll probably, whatever. I think that's what he said. And if that's what he said, I think that's an amazing idea. I think each weapon archetype should have different ranges. 150s should be like medium range. 110s, like the slower it shoots, the higher the range should be because these are slow as shit. And shooting a 110 in a medium size range just makes no sense when I just use a 150. So me, in my opinion, I think the 110 sh should get a buff in that aspect. I would love to see that happen, mostly because 110s are really weak right now. But it kills me because the weapon rotation or the perk rotation on this weapon itself is actually pretty interesting. So first, it's going to be overflow, rave robber, range finder, opening shot and field prep for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be demolitionist, elemental capacitor, rampage, timed payload and explosive payload so i can already off the bat give you a few things i would i would roll with this overflow with demolitionist rampage time payload explosive payload would be amazing shit even elemental capacitor to a certain point would be awesome as well range finder with all of those would be as amazing as well opening shot would be dope with like maybe timed payload or explosive payload I like this weapon rotation and it's not like oh damage or any or reload it's just interesting combinations like overflow I just love overflow with a passion so overflow with like all of the second ones would be dope as hell specifically like maybe time payload or explosive payload I love explosive payload and I love time payload but probably t overflow and demolitionist for pve for pvp maybe range finder with time payload or explosive payload or opening shot with time payload or explosive payload overall i like the rotation that this gun has it's just really unfortunate that it's a 110 and 110s are not in a good spot granted they're in a better spot than 180s 180s just feel bad but 110s you can make it work if you have like Rampage with a rampage spec on it and rangefinder, you could probably make it work or opening shot with time payload. Me, mm, yeah, I'd probably hit hard shit. So this one so cool, so cool, but 110 just that needs a buff. So onto the next weapon, which which is gonna be timelines vertex which again, just like True Prophecy, I do not have this weapon random roll, so I did pull this out of collections. But one of the reasons why I really wouldn't care about this weapon is because fusion rifles for me are just a weapon type that I don't use much, if at all. I have an Aerotel and I have like a few other fusion rifles that I use occasionally, but other than that, I'm not a big fan of fusion rifles, especially for PVE. For PVP, I I'll use it if like I get a really nutty roll, I know I have an Arantel with a few really weird rolls. I have one with like the highest uh, charge time. So shoots shits fast. But let's look at the perks for Timelines Vertex. So lead from gold, field prep, 
auto loading holster firmly planted and shield disorient for the first one for the second row it's gonna be elemental capacitor demolitionist disruption break snapshot sites and backup plan for the second row so for pve lead from gold and demolitionist easy hands down uh if you want to go extra you could probably go disruption break instead of demolitionist because demolitionist when you break an enemy's shield that enemy becomes more vulnerable to kinetic damage which means if you pair this with like a sniper on your kinetic it does more damage if you pair it with like izanagi's it does even more damage so this one would be cool it's just that bosses don't have shields so for boss damage no but i mean it's it's something else you can do for pve for pvp probably fir firmly planted and snapshot sites would be the best one or elemental capacitor depending on which one you're using which uh super you're using so i don't really have much to say about this one just because i don't really care about the gun itself uh you could probably pair it with like maybe what's it called accelerated coils i think yeah accelerated coils for the increase in charge time but other than that i really don't have much to say about this weapon yeah let me know what you guys think about the weapon itself in the comments below but the last weapon is going to be enigma's draw this one is a precision frame which immediately means i don't like it i don't like precision weapon or precision sidearms i just don't find the value in it unless it has fully auto trigger system which which this one does it's just that from what i've heard the god roll is not with fully auto trigger system so let's look at the perks themselves fully auto trigger system like i said grave robber triple tap zen moment and opening shot for the second row it's going to be demolitionist rapid hit swashbuckler range finder and elemental capacitor so for me the god rule would probably be opening shot and range finder for pvp for pve it most likely be fully trigger fully auto trigger system with demolitionist or rapid hit or swashbuckler if i'm using my titan that would be the pve uh portion of that mostly because it is in the kinetic slot so it will hit harder a little harder but i could also use other stuff on my sec my energy slot which would be pretty dope i just don't know if i would use this weapon at all and it's funny too because i have the opening shot and range finder uh perk on it uh that's the one i have on mine and it's it's pretty fun it's just like i said i don't value i don't value sidearms that are precision frame unless they have the fully auto trigger system because uh that's just me i i don't really like to like click a lot and the only way it's really hard to explain on sidearms i don't like it everything else it's fine it's just sidearms for me i feel the brunt of it i don't know why but that's pretty much it yeah let me know what you guys think about the guns themselves like i said the the true prophecy i like it a lot because the perks are really interesting and i would want to like combine it with a lot of things it's just the fact that the 110 archetype is just not that great right now and that's actually it if they changed 110s if they got an increase in range like let's say 110s could do like like not medium but like higher than medium to high range i think they would be great i think they would be viable because it takes so long to get that triple headshot and like for me at least i think that would add value to 110s timelines vertex it's a it's a fusion rifle i don't like fusion rifles i really don't like fusion rifles for pve for pvp i'm starting to warm up to them a little bit more but i would not use this one specifically i would probably use like I would probably end up using Arantel over pretty much any other fusion rifle to be quite honest. I think uh, Arantel is really good, especially with some of the perk rotations that you can have on it, especially since the one that I have specifically is like, what is it, Whoa, 780 charge time, which is so fast. So that's where, that's where I kind of land on that. Enigma's draw. I like I like I like the perks on this weapon specifically I think the weapon uh, perks on this one is so interesting and viable on a lot of aspects it's just that if it doesn't have fully auto trigger system then I just really don't care uh, 
I want to. I want to get a. I want to get a roll with like fully auto trigger system with demolitionist or rapid hit. I just want to try it out to see if I'll like it or not because I have a feeling I'll actually like it. So. Other than that, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys like any of these weapons? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you everyone for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. Thank you everyone for actually, thank you, thank you to the people who actually watch my other content aside from just Destiny 2. I really appreciate you guys even more considering that I'm trying to do more than just Destiny 2. And I don't want to stop Destiny 2. It's just, I don't want to just do Destiny 2 if you guys get my drift. So. Thank you all. Uh, be safe out there. Don't cough in people's faces. You guys know what's happening in the world. Be safe. Be healthy. And I will see you guys later.